Best zombie flick ever? 28 days later, the first 10 minutes of Dawn of the, the new Dawn of the Dead. So, so you like these, I mean, I, I, after playing the game, I could tell, you really like these, like, the feral zombies that just kind of lunge at you and just chase you down the street? Amped up on caffeine zombies, yeah. They're fast, they're aggressive, they're coming to kill you. response has been incredible. People have been waiting an hour and a half to play, play, and then getting back in line and playing again. So yeah, it's 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 humbling. It's it's like I want to go back and work on it and make it better. Even in yes. Are, are there any things that like you in watching them play? You're like, oh, I want to tweak this now, or I mean, like as you're watching them play, you're noticing things, or. So so with Valve, we always do outside play tests and we play test and play test and play test. And yeah, it's great to see even more stuff. And you know, uh, like we were talking about. One thing that players don't do in this, what they don't normally do in an FPS is look up. It's always horizontal, and so we need to make sure that we're reinforcing that, that you've got to look up. Because the new players here, you learn quickly, but you learn brutally that you have to look up. As the boomer, you can stand up there with people who haven't played and stand up there and free, like, look up, see me. You're not going to see me because no one's looking up. Where skilled players are always scanning the rooftops, and they would shoot you in a second, and that would be it. with uh, like you know the bots in single player I mean that's just it, I'm kind of curious about that myself so the bots which are still being worked on essentially is you take up the lead of the team and they kind of follow you and uh, they're you know it's uh, Michael Booth's programming the bots he did the counter-strike bots which are amazing and the bot work he's done here is just great I mean he's it's, he also did the infected bots here and I would say most people cannot tell the, the bots from the humans playing it's that's very cool. And I, I know it's probably not the final HUD, but another thing I noticed is that there's no like a, a real map showing you, or at least not in, in the game showing you, okay, you have to go here. There's a big X on the X marks the spot. Uh, was, that, was that a conscientious? Yeah, it's you, you're you're trying to get through the city. You've been through the city before, and you're going through. So there's no map. They didn't say, "Hey, the zombie apocalypse is coming. Let's make up a map so that you can <laughs> navigate through." You're a multiplayer game, but we want to have those peaks and valleys that you have in a single-player game. So like in episode two, or you know any of the Half-Life games, we, we have these bat intense battles and then we give you a vista to look at or a puzzle to solve, because fighting all the time is kind of tiring. And so the director kind of tries to do the same thing and it does it by monitoring your intensity level. And so have you just killed a bunch of zombies right in, right in your face? Are people in your party injured? You know, what just happened to you? Oh, if that just happened, then let's bring it down for a little bit. Let's give you a little bit of a calm area here. And then we're going to ramp it up later, and we might ramp it up by just giving you some wandering infected to fight, or we might ramp it up all the way and bring a tank. And so it, it's always the director's always looking at the game, always looking at the state of the players, and deciding, do I need to give you a break? Do I need to amp up the intensity? Yeah. Let's say you're playing as the hunter, and then you get killed, and you're waiting for your next turn to get back in the queue. Is it? Is, there's only there's only there's only allowed to be four at a time. So you're, Correct. You're, you're waiting, and how does that, how does that work? So that, that's still one of the things we're working out. That's why people aren't playing that yet. Um, so we're not sure of the timing yet. But there's some level of time that we're giving the survivors a break, and a lot of that time spent by the infected, kind of planning their next move, because it'll warn you and tell you that oh, you're going to come back as a boomer. You can watch the survivors play, and you can be like, oh, they're coming this way, I'm coming as a boomer, this is what I'm going to go do. Or, so, so, so the director chooses what you're going to come back as. Yeah, you, you, can, you can say, I prefer to come back as this, but like anything that's random, sometimes you're going to come back as a hunter, smoker, boomer, and 
And you're, you know, like here, it's really nice because we're sitting right next to the other player. But, you know, you also type chat or chat over and say, hey, I'm coming back as a smoke. I'm coming back as a boomer. They're going to come back to this spot. You pull them in, I'll vomit on them. It's a classic one-two combination.